Now to Madison, Wisconsin, and an innovative new approach to sheltering the homeless. The organization Occupy Madison, a spinoff of the Occupy Wall Street movement, has just finished building its first tiny home, which they hope will be part of a larger cooperative of eco-village homes. Their initiative is known as OM Build. The home, less than 100 square feet, is made largely from recycled materials. It has a composting toilet and is wired for electricity to run small appliances. The group plans to build many more tiny homes and eventually create a community of tiny homes occupied not just by the homeless, but by those who prefer sustainable community living as well. Earlier, I spoke with Occupy Madison organizer Luca Clemente about where this idea came from. Well, much like in other places around the country, when we began our encampment, um, we learned that there were a lot of people in the Madison area who uh, were homeless and had nowhere to go. And they, of course, flocked to the encampments, and it became sort of like a, a uh, homeless community. In addition to the political activity that was going on, um, the homeless issue became very important to us. And so over time, we realized that we had a crisis right here that wasn't being dealt with, and um, we decided to uh, do something about it. So you've got one of these tiny homes built now. What happens next? Who's going to live there? Will, where will it be placed? Well, the first house, uh, we, we have the two people uh, all ready to go in. Um, it's a, a couple that have been homeless for a number of years, and they're very excited. They helped build it. That's one of the things uh, that we like about the project, is that the people who live in the houses help build them themselves. Um, it's really difficult to get a good I'm holding a, a phone in my hand, so it's difficult to get a view of the entire house. But one of the things that's real important is we, we want to make the houses beautiful so that um, it kind of instills a sense of pride and that the community would be more welcoming to them. Um, in terms of where we're going to put them, right now we have some issues that we're working on regarding zoning. It's very difficult. There's no um, legal way right now that they're allowed to be uh, really anywhere. And so we're, we're working on that. Now, the ultimate goal here, though, is a kind of a cooperative, sustainable living community of a bunch of these tiny houses. Uh, what do you need? What needs to be done to get to that goal eventually? Well, the, the first step is that we're working with churches and nonprofits, and we did get the city council to pass a resolution that will allow the tiny houses to go uh, in church parking lots and in the uh, and in nonprofits uh, are allowed to also uh, host the tiny houses. Ultimately, we would like to get land. And the mayor has showed some support for this. And so we're hoping that we'll be able to get land to create a community because what we really want to do is uh, have a community of tiny houses and, uh, you know, that incorporate a lot more than just the houses. We'd like to have gardening and workshops for other projects as well. Uh, when, when the Occupy encampment started up, there was a whole alternative living component to them. You know, there, there were places where people could be fed, educated, housed, given health care for free. So not only was it a demonstration, but it also put Occupy's message into practice. Uh, is that part of the motivation here too? build this community to serve as an example or an alternative to other people? It is. We really do hope that this idea catches on because there are a lot of people right now that are just marginalized. And uh, it, like in Madison, for example, right now, there's a less than a 2% vacancy rate. And you'll have 20 to 30 people who are all jockeying to uh, you know, get the same apartment when it becomes available. And rents are very high. And a person who's living on a minimum wage job can't even afford an apartment even when one becomes available. So we're trying to create an alternative where people can participate in the building of their own house and then become part of a community where they can engage in projects and meaningful uh, you know, things that add meaning to their life. Well, that's definitely some interesting uh, work you guys are doing up there in Madison. Uh, there's Occupy Madison organizer Luca Clemente. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.